Hi Yogi, today we'll relieve our sore and tired legs with some deep hip and leg stretches that will leave you feeling like jelly in the best way. You don't even have to stand, so let's get to it. Meet me in extended child's pose. With your knees wide, big toes touching. Surrender your forehead down to your mat with your arms out long in front of you and take a couple of deep breaths as your body slowly softens into place. Then rise up into a tabletop on your hands and knees and extend your right arm forward, left leg back. But take your right hand to your belly and make sure that your belly is engaged. Your core is working to pull your belly in and the space between your hip bone and your navel is firm. If it helps, keep your hand on your belly to maintain this engagement while you hold this pose. Three. Two, one, lower down and switch sides. Extend your left arm forward and your right leg back. And take your left hand to your belly, feel around and make sure it's all firm and engaged. It's just too easy to let your belly fall in this pose, but then you lose all the benefits of this pose. So firm it up, especially the transverse abdominis, that space between your hip bone and your belly button. Three, two, one. Lower down and make your way to downward facing dog. Bend one knee and then the other as you press your chest towards your thighs, lengthening your spine and the back line of your legs. For a variation of half pigeon, bring your right knee to your right wrist and sink into your hips. Forget about your shin becoming parallel to the front of your mat. Instead, I want you to focus on keeping your hips squared off to the front of your mat and stay lifted, stay upright, using your hands to support you in this pose. This more active variation will not only target your glute and your hips, but it'll also open up through your left hip flexor. So feel everything that's opening for just a couple more deep breaths. Appreciate the intensity of the sensation and how it can keep you present. Now shift your weight to the right and swing your left leg out and around, placing the sole of your right foot inside of your left thigh. With your hands still in front of you, inhale to lengthen your spine, then exhale to hinge at your hips and fold forward so your leg is straight out at a 45 degree angle but you are going towards the front of your mat. Feel yourself relax deeper into this pose with each exhale. Slowly rise. And place your left foot flat on the mat outside of your right thigh. So you have to kind of wind up your legs, bend your left knee up towards the ceiling. Use your right arm to grab onto your left knee, maybe hugging it in towards your body. And place your left hand flat on the mat behind you for a gentle twist. But this is less of a twist and more of a hip opener. It's very subtle, so just hold and breathe 
noticing if you feel any sensation in your left glutes. and turn your body back to center and tighten your legs, stacking your knees for cow face legs. Bring your ankles in towards your hips just as much as you need to and you can stay right here or hinge at your hips and fold over your legs. Relax your shoulders your jaw, soften the muscles in your face, you're exactly where you need to be, everything else can wait. Slowly rise. Then unravel your legs, plant your hands behind you, place your feet about mat distance, and just windshield wipe your knees side to side. And make your way back to downward facing dog, and let's switch sides. Half pigeon with your left knee forward, Sink into your hips. Adjust your shin and ankle closer towards your body so you can stay squared off to the front of your mat and stay lifted. Stay upright here. This is a good place to remind you that you cannot always control what is happening to you. But you can control how you react to it. So this is the place to practice calm. A controlled calm. Within the chaos and the intensity of these deep stretches. Shift your weight to the left and swing your right leg around, placing the sole of your left foot inside of your right thigh. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale to fold. And if you find yourself with your mind running during your practice or putting yourself in hypothetical situations, then instead of just stopping it and coming back to your breath, I want you to instead imagine yourself in that situation, except you're calm and confident, following your intuition. Rise and place your right foot flat on your mat outside of your left thigh. Use your left arm to hug your right knee in and place your right hand behind you to keep you sitting up tall. Gentle twist to your right, deepen your breath.
then turn back to center and cross your legs even deeper for cow face legs, stacking one knee on top of the other. Stay here or fold over your legs, relaxing everything that you don't need. Calm and confident. Gently rise, unravel your legs, and windshield wiper your knees side to side. And bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall open, giving yourself space between your hips and your heels. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, hinge at your hips. Fold forward. Releasing the weight of your upper body and giving into gravity with each exhale. and rise. Plant your hands behind you, fingertips pointing back. Place your feet flat on your mat and lift your hips. Lift up through your shoulders for three, two, one. Lower your hips down and come to lie down on your back. Meet me in full wind pose. Bring your knees towards your chest and hold on to your shins. For half wind, extend your left leg long down on your mat. Just hold your right knee in. Then extend your right heel up to the ceiling and you can hold on to your hamstring or your calf, wherever it feels good for you. Then flex and point through your toes, waking up your ankles. and bend your right knee and pull your knee across your body for a twist. Turn your chin to the right as your knee pulls to the left. Use your breath to massage your body into place, relaxing with each exhale. Then come back to center and draw both knees in for a full wind pose. Big inhale and exhale. And switch sides. Extend your right leg long, pulling your left knee in. Breathe into place, observing any new sensation. Now straighten out your left leg, pointing your heel up towards the ceiling, and grab on wherever is comfortable for you. And while you're here, point and flex through your toes.
Now bend your left knee and draw your knee across your body for your supine spinal twist. Breathe. Come back to center, pull both knees in for full wind pose. Big breath in. Big breath out. And take happy baby pose or any other posture that's calling out to you before we seal off our practice. And if you're in happy baby, just Open up your legs, grab on to your ankles, your feet, your calves, wherever. Flattening out your lower back and your shoulders. And, and it might feel good to rock a little bit side to side, or it might feel even better just to stay still. Listen to your body and do what feels good for you. And when you're ready, release your legs. Find Shavasana, the posture of complete and total relaxation. So take up space. Close your eyes. Relax everything you don't need. And trust that the ground beneath you can support the weight of your body. So let go. Training your body to go from 60 to zero. Let go. It's when you match stress with recovery that you get results. So let go. And you're exactly where you need to be. Let go. Notice everything about how you feel in this moment. Calm. Confidence. Peace. This feeling came from within, from your practice. And the more you practice, the easier it will be to tap into this feeling on and off your mat. So let the feeling linger as you gently roll over onto one side and slowly and mindfully press yourself up to seated. And bring your hands to heart center. In all the situations of your life and in your practice, you're exactly where you need to be. And stress is like a weight. When you pick it up and use it, you get stronger. You'll never receive what you cannot handle. And you may not be able to control what's happening to you or around you but you can control how you react to it. Find the calm, find the confidence, trust your intuition, you're exactly where you need to be. Namaste.
Hmm. I hope that really rejuvenated your sore and tired legs. If you love a deep stretch, then I would love for you to join me for my free 21 day yoga challenge. Just click the link in the description down below or scan this QR code. See you there.